Okay, so what we're doing today is we're working on section 11.3, area of polygons. Let me get my pen. Start with blue. So there's a lot of different vocabulary, um, but let's go ahead and just start off with the area of a rhombus and a kite. Okay. So both of those, even though the shapes are a little different, the formula is the same. The area is one half diagonal one times diagonal two. And so if I have a rhombus, it's an ugly rhombus, but there's one diagonal, there's the other diagonal. So I would multiply those diagonals and divide by two. A kite looks a little different, but it's the same process. You multiply the diagonals and divide by two. Okay, so that's a pretty straightforward one. Uh, when we get to the next ones, it gets a little harder, a regular polygon. But first, we have to know the inscribed polygon and polygon parts. So an inscribed polygon is when there's a circle on the outside. So if I drew a circle, there would be on the outside. Um, but there are some parts we have to know. First of all, we have to know what the center is. Oh, don't do that. Center. And then if I draw... This here, I got a triangle, and that thing right in there is the central angle. And you need to know how to find central angles. Well, if you think about this, this is a pentagon. And so if I drew this out, there would be five triangles inside. So that means there would be five central angles. Let me get rid of those other ones. And so to find the measure of each central angle, you take 360 divided by how many sides there are. So because this is a five-sided figure, I'm going to do 360 divided by 5, which is going to give me an angle degree of 72. Okay, so that's central angle 72. Now what happens next is my apothem which is comes right here. This red line is my apothem. And what you need to recognize is that apothem creates a right triangle. I know that this angle is 90, and I know that these two together, let me highlight, those two together make 72. So that tells me that I know that this little one right here is half of 72, so it's 36. And that's going to be helpful because we're going to have to do some Sakatoa um, to find the apothem. So just be ready to find the Sakatoa uh, because I know what that angle is and I'm going to have to find that apothem. Okay? All right, so here we have the same idea. What I'd like you to do, though, is I'd like you to draw your central angle. Dang it. Draw your central angle and figure out the measure of it. And then come over here and draw your right triangle. My cat is freaking out and wants to go outside, but I'm not letting it out. Okay, so you should have drawn that and known that it was 360 divided by 6 because there are 60 degrees. Uh, because there are 6 sides, and so that's 60 degrees. And now my apothem, I'm just going to highlight it green this time. Let's go down. This is my apothem right here and so that takes that right triangle and it's a half of that that central angle so this angle is 30 and then that's the side and we'll have to do different things to find pieces but those are key things you have to be able to know all right so now the area of a regular polygon is one half a and that stands for apothem times capital p which stands for the perimeter of the polygon, okay? So one-half apothem times perimeter. All right, so let's try some examples. So for each shade, given, use the given information to determine the central angle. So we need to find the central, the apothem, and the area. Okay, so eight sides. Oh boy, this is hard to draw. So let's try and draw an eight-sided figure. 
Okay, so I kind of cheated. I went and found an octagon because I didn't want to draw one. And so there's my central angle. And so my central angle, again, is 360 divided by the number of sides. So 360 divided by 8, which gives us 45. Now to find the apothem, I'm going to draw my right triangle. I'm going to actually draw this bigger because it gets harder. And I know that this is 22.5. I don't know my apothem. Now, we haven't talked about this yet, but it tells us the side measure. Uh-oh. Okay, so it tells us the side measure is 12. But over here, I just took half of this triangle. So this is 6. And so we have to use our Sakatoa. This is my angle, so remember I circle my angle. I label my sides, this is opposite, and this is adjacent. My rule that's opposite and adjacent, and the rule you're always going to use for this is tangent. So it's the tangent of my angle equals my opposite over my adjacent. And so I can flip those things, and I get x over 6 is equal to 1 over tangent 22.5, and I times by 6. And so I end up getting, let's see, let me make sure my mode's right. Make sure your mode's in degree. We haven't done tangents in a while. 6 divided by the tangent of 22.5, which is 14.49. Okay, that's the hardest part. But you're always going to use tangent because you're always going to be looking for either the opposite or the adjacent. And so that's what we'll need. Okay. Um, and then now I just need to find my area. So my area is 1 half, the apothem, 14.49, times my perimeter. Well, I have 8 sides, and they're 12 each. So it's 8 times 12. So I'm going to plug that in the calculator. So 1 half times 14.49 times 8 times 12, and that gives me... 695.52 centimeters squared. Okay, so these are definitely problems that are a little more time consuming because you have to find the apothem, but it's something that's doable. Okay, so for step two, these are the things I want you to do. I want you to see if you can find your central angle, and I want you to try and find your apothem. If you're stuck finding your apothem, at least draw your triangle like I did right here. Okay? And then press play when you think you have it. Okay, so my, here's my hexagon. I cheated again. And hexagon is going to be 360 divided by 6. So the central angle is 60. And so when I draw my right triangle, if my central angle is 60, then half of it's 30. And then I know that the whole side is 8.4, so that means this little port is 4.2. And again, I'm looking for my apothem. And remember I said it's going to be tangent, so this is opposite, and this is adjacent. So it's going to be the tangent of 30 is equal to opposite over adjacent. I'm going to flip those suckers upside down. Ooh, that's messy. And then now I'm going to multiply both sides by 4.2. And so, not 42, 4.2. That looks like a decimal. And so now I get 4.2 on top divided by the tangent of 30. And that is 7.27. So my apothem is 7.27. And now my area, remember, is, I'm going to work it out down here. One half my apothem, 7.27, times my perimeter. And I'm not going to add all those sides up. I just know that I have six sides times 8.4. So let's type all that in. And I end up getting 183.2. So it's 183.2 inches. And that's it. Again, the hardest thing is usually finding the apothem, 
But with a little time um, and practice, you will get it.